Tiffany Haddish has a new show that she's working on following successful women who are dating homeless men. I received a message on my Facebook Messenger from Jonna, one of my listeners who says she heard me talking about it on the radio and she feels like this is a wonderful concept. Why does she think this is wonderful? Because she actually dated a man who was homeless for five years, like literally sleeping in parks, homeless. Jonna, how did your man tell you about his past with homelessness? How did it come up? When we started going out on dates and we started talking, um, we saw a homeless person. And he was like, hey, I was one of those homeless people on the street um, that didn't have. And I'm like, I looked at him like, huh, you were homeless? And he told me his story. And I'm not even going to lie to you, Shay. At first, I was like, okay, yeah, this is a no-go, red flag. But then when I looked past his homelessness and saw the kind of person that he was, like he was, he's nurturing, you know what I'm saying? He makes sure that I have. It didn't matter to me. Like I wanted to know more because I have never been exposed to actually being a homeless person that had to go to homeless shelters, actually had to see where his next meal was coming from. So it didn't make me feel any different. Now, there was an instance where he was at the park with the homeless people, and I saw him at the park, and I'm like, is this who you hang with? And he's like, no, I just like to go down there to see how they're doing. That made me fall more in love with him because that showed his compassion, you know, him wanting to make sure that the people that took care of him was okay. And that didn't make me feel any different. I was kind of reserved because I kind of knew how my friends and family were, so I wanted to protect him. But then when I stopped wanting to protect him and let him tell the story, they fell in love with him because it was real. It was who he was and not who he is now. Jonna, what happened that caused him to be sleeping on the streets? His pride. Um, He didn't want to go back to his mom's house and stay with his mom. He didn't want to ask anybody for help. So he had a job, lost it, and just... That was the only thing that he can think of to do. For five years? For five years. And he and he had little jobs, but it wasn't like he, you know, his mindset was like, don't nobody, you know, you slip into a depression and you think nobody cares about you. Um, these are the only people that, that I can surround myself with. But then when he got himself out of it, it was like, I got to do better for myself. He found the job to where as they hired him on full time, he became a chef. And, I mean, he started making money. He started seeing the fruits of his labor, and he just became a better person. And, and then he, he not only stopped there, he went back and he helped his friends. He's still helping friends that are going through. Like a lot of them that he were homeless with, they have successful jobs, but they don't know how to maintain their money. They don't, you know, they don't know how to, um, to stay successful. And he goes back and he gives them advice. Like, if they call him and in any need, he makes sure that if he has it, he helps. And so that's why you shouldn't look down on people that are in that situation. Because let me tell you, Shay, I may not have been homeless on the street, but there have been times where my life were off, you know, and I still have to wake up and go to work and smile. There's been times where my gas was off, where I was, you know, on the bridge of, Eviction. To be honest, I'm totally fascinated by this story. I've got more questions. I'll be back in a couple of minutes on the Shea Moore Morning Show on 1073 KC's R&B and Hip Hop.